Hi, I'm Teddy Alexandro Evans, and you're watching Out at the Center. <laughs> Writer and downtown performance artist Mike Alvo stopped by the center to give us a taste of edgy New York humor. In these highlights, he discusses the personal grooming habits of gay males, channels Gwyneth Paltrow, introduces us to the underminer, and then takes a request from the audience, poking fun at the seedier side of online life for certain members of our community. Viewer discretion is advised. Thank you guys, thanks so much for coming. I'm so happy to be um, in the Shane Lesbian Center where I can be completely baggy. They're um, doing sex clogging upstairs. <laughs> I'm also happy to be here because I get to um, read really gay stuff, <coughs> like gay angry stuff, and be gangry. <laughs> and uh, uh, this is something I wrote in um, in Out magazine that got so much um, like mad mail. Like I don't know why it was like the most scandalous thing I've ever written or something. Not like I've been sleeping around or looking at a lot of internet porn or anything, but what is up with the trend of having your pubic hair look like a racing stripe? <laughs> <laughs> From my perspective, it seems like a huge number of young gay boys are shaving as if they were women in a Vixen porn video, video shoot, bust cutting until they are baby smooth or depilating their down their hair into creative shapes like arrows, lightning bolts, or just a little fuzz spot like a plucked eyebrow. It's at this moment that I fear I'm I'm a stubborn holdout during some unstoppable cultural shift. Like a baby boomer who can't seem to appreciate the Mohawk, or a geriatric southerner who still disapproves of miscegenation. <laughs> I, do, I just do not have the ability to see the allure of a boy whose stubby, coiffed pubic hair resembles an Oral-B toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the mail I got back was like all, was all, um, was all like, Mike needs to wake up and smell the coffee. People have been plucking themselves for centuries. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gwyneth Paltrow. I've been blessed with such a beautiful, magical, wonderful, weird, white life. I put together this website of useful tips based on my experience, told through me, me, and the history of me. Just log on and I will impart to you wisdom. For example, when I'm thirsty, I drink water. If I want to lose weight, I have my organic chef make pea and avocado soup. <laughs> Naps are a wonderful way to rest. See, these tips are very useful. <laughs> At first, I was just writing an email to my friends, but like everything else in my white, weird, wonderful, blessed life, it became a multi-million dollar business. <laughs> it, excuse me, um, could you direct me to Sackett Street? My livery cab just dropped me off in the middle of... Oh, hi! <laughs> I'm so sorry I didn't recognize you with your hair in your face and your sweatpants. <laughs> How are you? You're having a yard sale. Cool beans. Uh, well, I haven't been here for so long. My lover and my partner, my lover partner and I, <laughs> are, just, are just in a worldwide W Hotel penthouse holding pattern while our, <laughs> while our floor renovations are being completed. Uh, Word of advice, never try to install Wi-Fi in your infinity pool while you're at Sundance Lab working on your script for Drew Barrymore's production company. <laughs> so here we are, just in time, you know, for just a tiny little bit of time. I tell you, um, after we raise three million dollars to produce my film, we are just gonna go to Patagonia and just ride out the recession. Just ride it out, just ride out the recession. Anyway, what are you doing now? Are you still catering on the weekends and living with your ex-boyfriend? <laughs> yeah, it's the new iPhone. Actually, it's the new, new iPhone. Well, among my crazy, stupid careers as an actor, journalist, shaman, and amateur real estate corporate executive, I'm also a design subject for Apple. They just gave me new things to try out because I'm sort of an early adapter. So they gave me this new um, Apple Omni Mac Pro with an 8 gigabyte core standard. <laughs> Let me tell you, in about five years, you are going to love this thing. <laughs> so how are you? You know, with this depression. Of course I mean the depression that we're having globally, but I also mean your depression. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what you really should do is read The Secret. You need to read The Secret. You, of all people I know, should definitely read The Secret. <laughs> Wait, what's your address? Okay, hold on one second. 
there, I just asked the universe to give you a copy. <laughs> It'll appear in about 45 business days. <laughs> so, read The Secret, stop being so sad, okay? Look at the yard sale. <laughs> Do you want me to do that one? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I love your class. <laughs> Doggy versus hot? <laughs> it's bareback cum dunk. <laughs> bareback cum dunk. Always horny, no string spawn, feed my hungry hole. <laughs> oh, I can just tell by your forearm. Oh, oh you know, I'm just out getting some food and water before I go back and start having sex again. <laughs> I could have just ordered from Fresh Direct, but I need to get some blood back in my legs. <laughs> I am so tired. Uh, I've been in a sling for the past 72 hours. <laughs> and then I had this big, long session planned with Wee Ho Ho, and then later on I'm meeting up with Deep Ass Chopra. Um, <laughs> And then after that, I'm uh, hooking up with Rim Rimini, Rim Rimini, Rim 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 me. <laughs> I should really get some sleep, but I'm just so busy. <laughs> Have you seen my boyfriend? <laughs> Have you seen my boyfriend? Hot Nip Top 8? <laughs> oh no, I'm sure you've had sex with him. He's about um, 5'11", um, 160 pounds. He's got uh, blue eyes and ripe pits. Um, okay. And hot nips, of course. <laughs> he's of Cuban descent, the remote touch of Asian blood, but he's not Asian. You know me. No Asians! <laughs> <laughs> so, besides, you know, having sex, I'm just doing the usual crystal and sit ups. <laughs> um, oh, the circumference of your cock came up in conversation the other day. Yeah, I was in a sling with Hot Suck Ted, Party Dog, and Black Party Dog, and they and we remembered the back of your head and your back. Uh, and of course, your eight and three quarters inch hammerhead cock. <laughs> hey, by the way, how's degrade me NYC nigga top nine in P Rican? <laughs> Tell bareback cum dunk says hi. <laughs> Those guys. Well, I better get going. Yeah, uh, I've got to pick up a few jars of uh, Vicks Vapor Rub. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, Count Fistula is coming over to give me a deep menthol. <laughs> and if I'm late, he'll kill me. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>